Hello Gemini, how are you? This is your love reading from the 18th until the 24th of March 2020. Before we get started, we will do what we always do in my spirit room and that is call in your spirit guides. Spirit guides for Gemini, please come in. Will you tell us what it is you need to tell them with regards to their love life? With this week, guys, we are always doing once a month, I do a check-in on your person, whomever it may be, past, present or even future energy that could possibly be moving in and um, when we do this we look at who they are how they feel about you or how they will feel about you and then last but not least we always get spirit message your spirit guides will leave a message at the end of the reading for you and what else what else what else guys is a general read if you feel the energy suits you more you can swap energies around because it is a general read it's more fluid so if the reading resonates just hit the thumbs up button you can like share subscribe do the whole thing comment love love your guys comments um what else if you want a personal reading just check in the box below oh by the way hi i always forget to say my name i'm deborah hi it's my channel energy of everything let's get into the spirit guides let us get some cards out please that represents gemini's person we're going to see what comes out my readings are always kind of specific so if it's not your read it's okay you can check back next week we're going to know when the cards start flipping oh wait wait they've already told me to please wait <laughs> there we go ten of wands your person your person two of swords omg what is going on with your person your person i said is, is carrying a very heavy load stressful and there's another one they want to do three yes imagine your person i feel like they are coming out of a time in their life this could be a future person as well by the way could also be an ex or even a i don't know if it's current though i'm not sure um, the energies that are coming through is very guarded, hey? Because this could be an ex-person or even a new person that you actually have just met, honestly. This person, I feel it could possibly be someone new or somebody that you just recently met. Um, it's this Four of Swords that's getting me. Whatever is going on with them, ah, they've come out of something, hey? That has really hurt them in the past. Because they're carrying ten sword wands over here. They've got two swords up. And they got this four of swords in their energy as well. And that's like, let me tell you, the stresses and strains of the weight of carrying those wands of what they've been responsible for in their life. Um, it's been heavy on them. I feel like there's been a past with, this person's got a past history. You may know or you may not know. But they got quite strong, let me tell you. If you're going to lift weights like this, you're going to become a quite strong person, I have to say. Ah, uh, their energy with the Two of Swords, they're very protective of themselves, of their own heart. Do you see the way that this person is like crossing those two swords right over their heart like this? It's like, yeah, to get near me, you got to pass through the swords first. So I feel like they've got this energy of like, um, it's like they test people first before they let them get even closer to them. It's like they go off and they test people and they like, before... I even let you near my heart you have to prove yourself and I will it's almost like that's not judgmental it's almost like an intuition based kind of vibe going on here it's like they trust the intuition because of the past what they've been through um, I actually feel like this could be a person that is uh, has been alone for quite some time because I'm looking at this four of swords and I feel like this person, this could be, if this is an ex, you guys haven't been together, I feel like you've been apart, right? If this is a new person, they've been alone for a while. I don't think they've been in a relationship. There's something about this as well. They may have children that they support. And it's even alone, it could be a single parent, male or female, that looks after children. And, you know, even beyond that, they've got responsibilities of doing everything on their shoulders and very protective of their lives, of their everything. They kind of in this four of swords mode. Um, I feel like this could possibly be a new person, right? And there's going to be this decision that they need to make. And it could possibly be to do with you if this is new. Because the decision is, do I or do I not get involved in a relationship again? And it's almost like they're in this mode of um, recuperation. But in thought, they're sitting in their thoughts and they're sitting there going, do I change 
do I take a chance? It's kind of an energy that's coming through. Do I take another chance on a relationship after all that I've been through in the past? But they may know you already, this person. And that's actually, if you are involved, they're already saying stop. This is how they feel about you. We're going to turn it now. Um, if they are already involved with you, they may actually, another one they say, we're going to see. Oh, yes. Mm, okay, no wonder. If they are already involved with you, it is this, like they, they, it's this decision that they have to make. This, do they cards just want to stop in my fingers and we're just taking them? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There's things that happened in this person's past. Okay. Um, they actually see you as being, wow, well, Gemini. <laughs> I think this came through in the past reading. Something like this similar. There's a person that really is very, very um, attracted to you. They see you as a new beginning in their life, okay? Um, they also see you as being extremely charismatic because you've got a queen of wands in the reverse energy. They see you as, wow, as somebody who's in a very, who's, who's got friends. You've got friends, you, you're very good in a group of people, you know, outgoing kind of personality. This is interesting. By the way, this is a general read. You can even swap these energies around if you want to. You can go ahead and do that. But there's this devil card here. And let me tell you, they are no wonder they're in the Four of Swords energy. Because with the devil card coming out, they're sitting and they're looking at you like a possible new beginning for them. A possible new beginning. There is, I have to say, passion here for you. They are attracted to you. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yes. Um, they do see something in you. Uh, where they have this feeling like, with this person, I can put down my roots. I can really, like, be stable with them. They almost feel like you can possibly give them a foundation that I don't think they've experienced before. This Queen of Wands energy, I think that is the only thing that brings out the Five of Swords in them a little bit. I think they worry um, that you, you're so outgoing, you're so friendly. Um, do you like them? Or do you not like them? Because I feel like this is a real new person coming in here. And they kind of got this like, um, I, I don't know if you actually confirm with them um, that you're interested in them or not. Or are you just kind of like leaving them or have they not told you? Because it seems like they have said something to you with a five of swords. Or they have approached you and let it be known that they are interested and I feel they're unsure. Look, you've got a four of swords, you've got a five of swords. So this is them really thinking, really, really thinking about every little move they're going to make. And then they make a move. And I think this is all they could possibly be wanting to. Or they've been revealing in the past little things about their attractiveness towards you. Wow, Gemini. Their worry is, do you even really notice them with the Queen of Wands being there? Because in the reverse energy, Queen of Wands is it's just kind of like free and doing her thing and, and just being the Queen of Wands and being fabulous. And, and they're going, do you notice me? Will he or she actually want to be with me? Wow, this is interesting. This is real interesting. This is definitely, and we've got two cards. They're like, stop, please, stop. stop. We're going to go. Oh my goodness, they are really worried. I'm going to draw out the last card here, spirit message. Okay, your person is, let me tell you, this person is worried. Like I, I kept on saying, all of this here is very deep thought. Then you got this, this uh, five of swords, you know, they're trying to broach this with you, they're trying to bring it up with you. And then at the same time, you got the judgment in the reverse energy. And let me tell you something, judgment in the reverse energy or no judgment in the reverse energy, their actions towards you, is going to be the Ace of Cups. There is no other way. Um, the biggest problem with them, with this Judgment card coming up, okay, so even if this is an X, right, that talks about, it's almost like stalemate. It's almost like being stagnant, stuck. They can hold back from actually offering you this cup of love. And let me tell you, that's a big offer. The, it comes right, it's, it's like, a, this is them, this is who they are. And I understand when I look at these cards here, why they're not quick to offer this cup. But there's this cup and it's underneath this devil card. Let me tell you, they cannot stop it. The devil card, it's, it's unstoppable energy. It can't be stopped. It's like a runaway train that's just going and they can't 
put the brake, they're trying to put the brakes on with the judgment card, trying to think, trying to even maybe broach it with you. I actually think they don't, they're not very, very sure about how you feel towards them. That's the vibe. The cup, Ace of Cups energy. So now you know, Gemini, how they feel about you. So if you, whomever you're thinking of, yeah, whichever person, it's somebody, I feel like you actually know them already. So there's this person, I feel like you know them. It's somebody that you know, possibly you can be working with them, but I feel like you have interaction with this person. I mean, even on social media, you might be having interaction with this person. And spirit guides are like, yeah, we've got a message coming up here. And they are actually the, they could be talking to you in some way, but they're not making it like, um, I think they're scared of getting hurt. Honestly, I think because they've got this two of swords there, I think they're actually scared of, of like coming up and approaching you and saying, um, you know, I'm interested in getting to know you more on not a friendship basis. And then at the same time, they're really thinking about it. They, they may have, I feel like they, they have said something or I think you're aware of this person. Who could this be? You might be going, ah, oh, I think it's that one. Let me tell you, whoever you're thinking of, this person is thinking way much deeper than you think. They have a plan in the future to actually come up and offer this to you. It's very interesting energy. Um, I just see you there right in the center of the reading. You're just like doing your thing, you know, not really 100%. Maybe you're aware Maybe you could have a lot of attention, Gemini, I'm just saying. There could be quite a bit of people paying attention to you because the Queen of Wands energy, yeah, that's the center of attention kind of person, male or female. They do get a lot of attention. And it's Gemini. Geminis are natural flirty kind of people. They don't mean to do it. They just naturally, as you breathe, it happens. Okay? So there's Gemini for you. And this person has been affected by that charm of yours. I'm not surprised to see this card here. Um... I want to get the spiritual message out. What do your spirit guides have got to say about all of this? Hey, woo, woo, woo. Out comes the five of cups energy. OMG. There is something that's got to do with a little bit of a sacrifice here. Five of cups energy. Um, yeah, it's got to do with the queen of wands energy right above it up here. You know, um, I think there's going to be a decision you need to make as well. Because if you are single and, you know, you're living your life, you're doing your thing, you, I feel like you're going, you're okay, you're just moving around, you're doing whatever you want to do, living pretty good life and very attractive to this person. Let me tell you, when this person comes in and starts getting really serious with you, you're going to be in this place of making a decision. What do I do? There's two fives. I love it when the fives come up because fives is about change. It is about really deep thinking, really deep looking within. This is about talking. It's about discussions. It's about back and forth. I say this, you say that. Mm, what do I think? What do you think? This is about how do I feel? And this is, I think, has got to do with you. So there's a decision that you're going to have to make about this incoming person. What are you going to do? Are you interested in them? Are you not interested in them? And if you are interested in them, then, uh, yeah, you're going to have to like start thinking about um, maybe changing the way you you live in some way. It's almost like I get this feeling like, because this is a queen of wands, so they've got a huge group of friends. And... You know, I said you guys can be like kind of like flirty with people. It's normal for a Gemini to do that. And you may be laughing with your friends, guy friends, girlfriends, and you know, not boyfriends or girlfriends, but just friends. Like, and there's this thing of if this person comes in, that is something that you're going to have to kind of like back away from because obviously somebody will not, you, you're kind of relaxed and kind of free and kind of like do what you can do. So that's the kind of thing that it would have to be kind of like given up wouldn't say sacrifice but there's that loss of freedom I just see you as being so free you're like the single person living out there there are things that change when you start getting into a relationship and let me tell you this person is not playing Gemini they are not playing they just want they don't they want, don't just want to be in the group with you and laugh and play and laugh and no they're very serious that's the ace of cups that's about growth that's about commitment that's about you the one kind of energy ace of cups okay 
you know what I mean? Not page of cups, ace of cups energy. And this is about a new beginning. There are definitely somebody's going to come in and offer you something. And are you ready for it? Are you ready for it, Gemini? Wow. Um, they are, they are going to take their own time. Let me tell you something. They are going to take their own time. It's almost like I get this energy. They will. It's almost like they're fishing, you know. So they got this little five of swords here. And, you know, in some kind of way that they communicate with you or around you, they'll like throw a little hint at how they are feeling towards you. So maybe they'll be like, oh, you look so amazingly beautiful today. Or, wow, that suit suits you so well. You look so, like, so good. I love your new haircut, whatever, male or female, whatever, whatever. And it's almost like they're trying to show you how they feel. <laughs> and they're hoping, OMG, Gemini, that you are actually the one that makes the move to them if you're wondering because this ace of cups is them actually at the end of the day having to make that move and in their heart of hearts because they got the four of swords there they they actually really hope like i wish this gemini could just make a move on me omg because you know they're stalemating they're stalling but at the end of the day the devil car will get the better of them and they are going to make the move and they're just going to reveal it all i even got this feeling by the way um for a certain group of you this could be someone in your group of friends, just saying. This could be someone that you've known for a while, possibly, you know, you, they dated somebody that you knew, and now you just got this big group of friends of people that you know, you kind of like hang out with them sometimes, and this one person, there's a one person in that group that is thinking things that you may not be aware of. Um, think of the person who likes to compliment you a lot. Um, will go the extra mile, you know, bring you that cup of coffee kind of vibe. That's that person. What are you going to do? Five of Cups energy. Wow, Gemini. Hmm. Stuff is getting interesting because let me tell you, there's a devil out on that table and this person thinks about you all the time. It's, it's not in a creepy way, in a nice way though. So if you're interested, Gemini, keep your eyes open. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.